fast, light, affordable, pick two if you're lucky, rarely do carbon fiber wheels or road race bikes offer all three. But these Windspace Hyper 50 wheels might just offer all three. Now, it's no surprise to you that carbon wheels like these not only boost the performance of your road race bike, but also the looks. And looks, let's be honest, are really important on our road race bikes. In years gone by, carbon wheels were very, very expensive and reserved for pros or those with very deep pockets. But in the last handful of years, the prices have really fallen. And now £1,000 here in the UK is considered by many to be the sort of magic price point for a decent set of reliable, fast and light carbon wheels like these. So these are the company's flagship carbon fiber wheel with carbon fiber spokes, no less, and cost $1,200 or £1,050 here in the UK, which does sound very good. So to find that if they're worth your hard earned money, I've been riding these wheels for the last few months to see what they're like and if they're any good. So in this video, I'll share my ride experience of these wheels. But before that, let's dive into details on these so you know what's what. Firstly, the wheels measure 50 mil deep, which is a very standard rim depth. They also offer a 38 and a 65 as well. But I think a 50 is a great choice if you can't decide which of the three depths you need. Good for climbing, descending, flat riding, road racing, time trialing, and just riding around in the country lanes. If you want more aero or you're doing time trialing, the 65 would be a good choice. And if you're riding in the mountains and you want the lightest weight possible, then get the 38. But the 50s, I think, are the best bet. They're also disc brake or rim brake compatible. These are disc brakes because I only run disc brakes these days, but they still offer a rim brake version if you're in that camp. I know lots of you are, especially if you watch my video on rim brake bikes you can still buy in 2022, linked up above. The rims then measure 26 mil wide on the outside and 19 mil on the inside. That's reasonably wide, but not as wide as those Zip 303S wheels, which are a whopping 23 on the inside. And their Firecrest wheels are even wider at 25. So a bit narrower than some of the kind of bleeding edge carbon wheels, but probably wide enough for most people. The most striking thing about these wheels is what the company calls the butterfly weave on the rims. This, they say, is a result of positioning the filament woven plies in a way that reinforces the spoke holes and evenly spread tension across the rim. Sound good, but also looks really snazzy as well. And then the icing on the cake are the carbon fiber blade spokes lacing the hubs to the rims. Normally companies use steel spokes, but here we have carbon spokes, something you don't see that often. They definitely look really good. Got external nipples and the company's own alloy hubs with wide flanges, oversized 70 mil axle and ceramic bearings inside front and rear as well. And the free hub is Shimano or SRAM XDR compatible. And what do they sound like? Well, they sound like this. It's definitely on the sort of louder end of the spectrum, not quite Chris King, but definitely up there with some of the noisier free hubs on the market. The rims are also tubeless compatible, but using a hooked B design. So you can use normal tires and inner tubes if you prefer, but these are running tubeless tires, a Goodyear 28 mm wide tire, and they went up fine. The rims are pre-taped with the valves installed. So it's just a case of fitting the tires with no tire leave needed, putting the sealant inside and using a regular track pump and they went up the first time. And they've been faultless during my time using them. I haven't punctured, touch wood, they don't lose air from one ride to the next, no burping, no leaking, no issues at all. So nothing to sway me from using tubeless and enjoying the benefits it offers over inner tubes, which for me, most importantly, is reducing or minimizing the risk of a puncture. The last detail on these wheels worth knowing about is the fact they are UCI approved. And what it means is you use them in a pro peloton, but we're not pros, so what it means for us is the fact they have passed the UCI's own crash test to ensure they are reliable and strong. Although Roval did put a spotlight on that UCI test, probably not being up to standard it should be when it redesigned its own wheels a little while ago. A video to that linked above. So let's go for a ride and I share my experience of riding these wheels on my local roads here in the Cotswolds over the last few months. Wind tunnel testing data is all very well, but meaningless when you're out here in the real world with all its pesky variables. So let me share my observations of riding these wheels on my local roads on my giant TCR for the last couple of months. Straight line speed is very impressive. There's no doubt about it, these are quick wheels, as fast as any other deep session carbon wheel, 
of a similar depth. Zip 303, MV45, loads of wheels I've ridden in the last two years. These are right up there when it comes to straight line speed. And they're a big improvement over a shallow box section alloy rim you might get on a cheaper road bike. So definitely worth the upgrade if you want to go faster. The one downside common to many deep section wheels is crosswind stability. And it's because you have a bigger surface area to catch a wind. And these wheels generally perform pretty well, but they're not quite as stable, not quite as confidence inspiring as other deep session wheels. And occasionally they can snatch the handlebars a bit, but it's not crazy bad. Once you get used to it, you're ready for it. But it's something to be aware of. And I know lots of riders don't have issues with crosswind stability. Maybe as a lighter rider, I'm more susceptible. But those are my observations on using these in some quite windy conditions. The other inescapable downside to these wheels though, is just how hard and firm they are. When I first put them on with my ferret tires at my low pressures I like to run, the ride quality was definitely harder, firmer and stiffer than the 303s and the MV45s I had them before. My look of roads are far from smooth and I want a wheel set and a tire combination that give me a nice, smooth, comfy ride. And the first impression of riding these wheels was just how much they relay the feedback from the road surface into the contact points. So comfort is a high priority for you. These probably won't be on your short list. So I think generally, if you like going fast in a straight line on smooth roads with little wind to worry about, these are a good set of wheels. But they're not quite as usable on an everyday basis for rougher roads and windy conditions where the comfort and that stability isn't quite on a par with other wheels in this market. I mean, they're very close and they're very good and I'm very impressed with what they're offering here. But I'm really trying to pick out the small details to help you make the right choice when you come to spending quite a decent chunk of money on some new wheels for your bike this year. But my goodness me, that's a noisy free hub can you hear it? That's definitely up there with the loudest free hubs I've ever ridden. Let me know if you like a noisy free hub or a quiet free hub by leaving a comment down below. So those are my thoughts on how these wheels ride, the performance and handling and aero and stiffness and all the other things we look for in a set of carbon fiber wheels. And generally they are very impressive. There's not much here to really put me off recommending these wheels. Now, buying from China is becoming a lot more popular these days, and the price is one reason why many consumers are leaving the mainstream brands and going to Chinese brands like Windspace here. But do they really still offer good value for money, and are they much cheaper than other brands? Well, they're not much cheaper, and actually a bit more expensive than the popular Zip 303S wheels, which are a really good benchmark for a carbon fiber wheel at that £1,000 price point. And because they've been around for about a year and a half since they launched, I've seen them shopping around for as little as £850. One of the benefits these wheels have over those 303S wheels is that they are lighter. 1,455 grams versus 1,530 grams. So a few grams, but it might be important to you. The Windspace wheels also have carbon fiber spokes, which are very snazzy, and ceramic bearings, which the Zip wheels don't have. They have regular bearings and regular spokes. So another positive for the Windspace wheels versus those 303S wheels. Another point of difference between these wheels is these use a hooked B design and are tubeless and inner tube compatible, whereas those 303S wheels are hookless, so are tubeless only with a maximum 72.5 PSI max pressure. You can't use any tubes on those unless you need to get home from a puncher. So hookless definitely has its benefits and using these latest tires from Goodyear, Michelin, Pirelli, and the new Contis, hookless is no longer a problem that it might be in the past with tire compatibility. Plenty of good tires out there in my experience. But if you prefer the wider compatibility, the higher max pressure, a bit more peace of mind perhaps, then the hook B design of these Windspace Hyper 50 wheels might just give them the edge over the 303S wheels. Where the 303S wheels do claw back some advantage is the warranty. These come with a two year warranty, while those Zip 303S wheels come with a lifetime warranty. So a big difference in the warranty. 
So let's sum up the review by saying these Hyper 50 wheels from Winspace are an excellent option in that £1,000 price bracket. Fast, light, stiff, maybe too stiff if you have rough roads where you live, but lots of details like carbon spokes, ceramic bearings, and tubers with a hook B design. So lots and lots of good things about the wheels to recommend them. Probably not as good value for money as they could be compared to some other mainstream brands and some other details that probably hold them back from being as good as it could be, but they are still a good set of wheels. Would I buy them? Probably, but if push comes to shove, i will probably go for those Zip 303S wheels for the dealer network and for a lifetime warranty and because I like the looks of them a bit better than the very snazzy filament weave on these. But these are still an excellent option if you want a set of carbon wheels and you don't want to go for one of the mainstream brands. So that's just my thoughts on these wheels after several months of riding them. Love to know your thoughts. Do you own a set of these wheels? Are you considering buying a set of these wheels this year? Love to hear from you as always. So get typing in the comment section down below. But that's all for today. If you want to see some other wheel reviews, I've done plenty here on the channel. Check the playlist right here. Don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button right here and I'll see you all again very soon. Take it easy and happy riding.